Welcome back everyone to this video in the lesson about variational methods in Hamilton's principle. Uh, in this video, uh, we will introduce how can we def uh, derive the finite element model of a bar element, uh, sorry, a beam element using the Hamilton's principle. Let's consider a, a beam element with end loads uh, as indicated in this uh, sketch. We have a vertical load. Uh, P and a moment concentrated at uh, this node M, uh, M1 on the other side also we have uh, P2 and M2 uh, we also have the degrees of freedom V1 and V1 prime V2 and V2 prime so generally the function that's uh, uh, the function that we are looking for is the V V of X Starting with uh, a term for the external work done by, uh, or the work done by the external forces, we can uh, define it as first uh, those two terms, uh, P1, V1, which comes from the right, uh, the direct definition of uh, work. It's the force times the displacement. And P2, V2, also the force times the displacement at this point. Uh, if you recall from mechanics, also the moments uh, can exert work, which is defined as the moment times the angle of rotation. So at this point, from the concentrated moment, the work done will be M1 times theta1, the rotation angle, and M2 uh, times theta2 at this node. While for the externally applied force, F of X, which is a lateral force generally distributed over the element, uh, we can uh, calculate or evaluate the external uh, uh, the work done by this force by integrating F of X at every point multiplied by the deflection at that point. Uh, this uh, can be uh, uh, slightly modified using uh, for small angles that the angle is actually going to be almost equal to the slope of the function. So now we are replacing theta by V1 uh, and V2 is, uh, prime instead of theta1 and theta2. <clears throat> Now we can uh, represent the variation of the work done by external forces by taking the variation of the previous example. Remember here I had uh, uh, the values at certain points. So to take the variation, what we will do is just replace this V by, uh, V1 by V in general, V of X, and then say that it's going to be evaluated at point 1 and so on. So we have here all the expressions. The variation is here with respect to V, with respect to V, with respect to V prime, and so on. Now that we have the uh, variation expression for the work done by the external forces, let's go and talk about the uh, strain energy or the uh, potential energy uh, stored in the uh, structure. Uh, uh, generally, uh, the uh, elastic energy or the strain energy is defined by the integration over the volume of the of half the stress times the strain but for linear material we can always replace the stress by the modulus of elasticity times the strain that's why we can obtain here uh, this term uh, which again can be still modified from the thin beam theory we can replace the uh, strain by the uh, second derivative times y which is the in the uh, lateral direction. Uh, if this is too quick for you, uh, I would suggest that you review the mechanics of material of beams. Uh, it's a straightforward concept coming directly from the uh, Euler-Bernoulli beam theory assumptions. Uh, so uh, now we are going to use this uh, and go further by uh, saying that from the Euler-Bernoulli beam theory, V does not change by y and, uh, with Y and Z. Uh, so uh, uh, it can come out of the integration of the Y and Z. And if we assume that E also is constant, so we have a homogeneous cross-section, E does not change also with Y and Z, we end up with this integration, which is an integration over the area, of y squared dy dz, which is the definition of 
the second moment of area of the cross section around the z axis it's usually referred to by iz or izz or simply i for this uh, problem because we only are dealing with beams in two dimensions so we have the very um, uh, famous expression for the bending stiffness which is ei appearing here now we have the uh, elastic energy or the strain energy in terms of the lateral deflection only so taking the variation of that we uh, get uh, the that we have here the second derivative of v multiplied by the variation of the second uh, derivative of v as well uh, adding those two terms together the potential energy or the uh, elastic energy and external work done we get this expression uh, don't be confused by the signs here uh, the signs uh, I just uh, use the negative sign to put the potential energy first it doesn't matter because at the end it's equal to zero and uh, uh, so uh, the, the, the negative sign will not change anything in our uh, problem now what we have is everything in terms of V or the variation of V uh, let's uh, now use the interpolation functions uh, into this expression to uh, get everything uh, inside this integration uh, sorry uh, everything here multiplied by the variation of the degrees of freedom so all we, what you have in here is either the degrees of freedom or uh, uh, just the vectors of interpolation functions which we, which we can integrate uh, when needed uh, this will give us right away just like what we did in the bar it will give us exactly the same expression that we uh, got for the stiffness matrix and the generalized forces of a, bar, uh, of a beam but using the weighted residual method so again we didn't do anything new we just got the same model using a different approach uh, this way now we can see clearly how uh, I hope it is clear now how we derive the finite element equations uh, from the Hamilton's principle and the energy expressions because uh, later we are going to use this as our starting point for any finite element model we are going to write down the energy expressions then apply Hamilton's principle then obtain the uh, finite element model from uh, uh, there uh, I hope uh, uh, that this is clear if not we you can still read through the notes there's a lot written in the notes that I didn't want to include in this video because it would have been so long uh, the notes are available on the Academy of Knowledge and or researchgate.org uh, you can download them and I hope uh, that you will join us later uh, uh, for uh, further lessons on finite element analysis uh, uh, the next lesson will be on uh, deriving uh, the equations of motion for beam buckling and for uh, the post buckling deflection as well and then we are going to take it from there into uh, the dynamics of beams and bars. So, uh, see you next lessons.